Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, let me explain how to create dynamic charts and dashboard in Excel in this format. For this, I have a sample data set of a company for last one year. And this company have around five branches in a place. Initially, let me create a drop-down list box to select month to extract specific month data in tablet format. So for that, I need to create a data preparation in this format. Go to data tab and select data validation. Again, data validation and select list to select a list of uh, options. So I'm going to select from January to December. Click and select OK. So here you can see a drop down list box to select specific month here. OK. And just directly I refer this cell to select a particular month. To compare this value based on branch name and month, I'm going to use index and match formula to get result from this table. Okay, index. So initially I need to select an array, so where my result is available. So this is my place to get result. That means the sales value of each month for particular branch. Okay, so I'm going to select this one and press F4 to lock this value for constant values and match to select branch name to come back from this list. Okay, come on. And I'm going to select list of branch name from here. And again, I'm going to press function four to lock this value because this is the constant value to lock names, the branch names. And I need exact match, so I'm going to give zero value here and close it. And again, now I'm going to use match again to compare month value. So here, use five. This should be constant value, so I'm going to use function four to select and select entire range of months. And I need I and I need again zero value. Okay, so this is the uh, formula that can be used to select range of uh, data value from this table. And use zero. Yes. Now I can get value. And just copy and paste entire value here. And whenever you are changing this month, and this data set will be changed accordingly from this table. Here you can cross check the values. And select number. Again, this is correct. Okay, so now I'm going to create a chart for this value. Go to insert, and in this place, you can see a list of uh, available charts in this portion. Now I'm going to use this particular chart. And drag and drop here. Okay, so whenever I change value, this data preparation values will be changed and the chart will be changed accordingly. Now I'm planning to add one more field here that means average of this particular range of values. So for that, I can use average. Close. So this is the average value of each branch on this particular month. Okay, so now I can integrate this value also with this chart to take values. For that, just you can drag and drop to this value and click on it and select chart type. Now I want this value to be changed in time format. So I'm going to give 
line value. Yeah, so this is the one. Okay, so we are almost done in this case. Now, first step is ready. It indicates total sales value and its average of a one. Now, I'm going to create one more chart using the same data, but in the different format. So for that, I'm going to select branch and month value and click on insert. And I'm going to select pie chart value for this format. Click, okay. And now you can start to resize this format as well. Click on it. Right click formats data series and select 50 percentage to change the format. And you can start to increase or decrease this value to resize chart size. Okay, so next I'm going to create one more chart for total sales of each branch. So for that, I'm going to select branch value and its total value. Click on insert and select, but now I'm going to select this chart and click and select here. Now all three charts are ready according to this requirement. Okay, now these two are left. So I will tell you how to create these two dashboards as well. Select this post sale values and click image and update branches. Branches and again, I'm going to select remaining four cells here and click image and center and give sales in this place. In the same format, I'm creating two more places click on this border and select all borders and select center again to change and make the formats correct and here i'm going to create one formula to calculate branch numbers count a and select this place from branches to give number of branch details here and sales value some formula and add this value yes. Now this can be formatted using colors and values. Okay, I'm going to create the colors and change font color as well here. And make it bigger. Yes. Okay. So now this is done. Now you can select any month in this drop down list to check values. So whenever I change any value in this drop down, data will be changed accordingly and charts and dashboards will be updated based on the selection. Example, if I'm going to update any value here, so chart details will be changed automatically. So without any manual intervention. So, yes. So just you can start to select any month from this problem to see the result. Thanks for watching this video. I will come up with another session very soon.